Apple Silicon is a line of system on a chip, also known as SOC, and system in a package, also known as SIP processors developed by Apple Incorporated, primarily using the ARM architecture. They provide the foundation of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Apple Watch, AirPods, AirTag, HomePod, and Apple Vision Pro products. It should be noted that in 2019, Apple attributed a drop in Mac sales on Intel CPU shortages. In June 2020, former Intel principal engineer Franzwek Piedknoll said Intel's abnormally bad quality assurance in its Scalic chips, making Apple the number one filer of problems in the architecture, prompting Apple's decision to transition. Apple stated in 2020 that it was converting a Mac platform from Intel Central Processors CPUs, to Apple ARM-based processors, also known as Apple Silicon. The first Mac featuring an Apple Silicon M1 chip was introduced in late 2020. In 2023, Apple will eliminate the remaining Mac models featuring Intel processors. Is Apple's transition from Intel chips to new Apple Silicon worthwhile? Stay tuned as we explore the matter. Hello and welcome back. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, and stay tuned. Apple announced plans to transition Mac laptops from Intel CPUs to Apple Silicon at WWCC 2020 on June 22, 2020. The first Macs powered by the Apple M1 chip were revealed on November 10, 2020. As of June 2023, Apple Silicon processors power the entire Mac series. Apple has complete control over the integration of Apple Silicon chips into its hardware and software products. Johnny Shruji is in charge of Apple's Silicon design. Chip manufacturing is outsourced to semiconductor contract manufacturers like TSMC. The new Mac with Apple Silicon computers offers a level of system integration between hardware and software that allows for significantly more computing capability, which is a huge deal for video creators. For example, the latest Apple Silicon MacBook Air with the M3 CPU is 13 times faster than the most powerful Intel MacBook Air. The M3 CPU's energy efficiency also gives the notebook up to a third longer battery life, that is about 18 hours for the Apple Silicon MacBook Air versus 12 hours for the Intel MacBook Air. Apple used its own silicon processors to create better Macs. Apple's CPUs provide a whole new level of performance resulting in more powerful and energy-efficient Macs. M-series Macs are far more powerful than Intel Macs ever were and their battery life is significantly enhanced. Apple has extensive experience in power-efficient chip design thanks to its work on the iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch, all of which feature custom-designed chips created by Apple engineers. Apple's processor performance has improved dramatically over the years and its chips are now more than capable of powering Macs. Apple intended to give the best possible performance while using the least amount of power, a goal that its expertise enabled it to achieve. Apple's primary goals were improved performance and efficiency, but there were other reasons why the company decided to move away from Intel, including all of the custom technologies built into Apple Silicon to further enhance the Mac's capabilities and set it apart from the competition. Since the release of the first Mac with Apple Silicon, Mac OS and all of Apple's software have been updated with code designed exclusively for Apple Silicon. To maintain compatibility, Mac OS allows older Intel-based software to function on the new Apple Silicon processor. Rosetta is a service that provides dynamic translation. When you launch an Intel app, Rosetta interprets the code in real time so that it operates on Apple hardware. However, Apple Silicon Macs gain from more than just hardware advantages over Intel-based Macs. Since 2020, Apple has limited certain software features to its Apple Silicon Macs. And with the arrival of Mac OS Sequoia this autumn, one of the most recent Apple Silicon Macs software exclusives is the best argument for people who still use Intel-based Macs to update. This fall, Apple will release its long-awaited AI platform, Apple Intelligence, for iPhones, iPads, and Macs. However, when it comes to Macs, there is one important caveat. Only Apple Silicon Macs will receive Apple Intelligence support. Many Intel-based Macs will be able to run Mac OS Sequoia, but they will be unable to run Apple Intelligence. To run Apple Intelligence, you will need a Mac with at least an M1 processor. Apple Silicon chips will be capable of handling the processing power required for the new advanced Siri, generative text tools that assist you in refining your emails and texts, and generative art tools that can generate unique pictures and even custom emojis on the fly. As previously said, Apple Intelligence isn't the only software exclusive to Apple Silicon Macs. The next operating system for the Mac Mac OS Sequoia includes another Apple Silicon exclusive capability, 
The Notes app for Apple Silicon Macs now supports live audio transcription, allowing your M-Series Mac to immediately transcribe an audio recording into a note. An excellent productivity option. Historically, Mac Mini idle power usage has steadily decreased until it increased with the Intel 6-core model in 2018. Following that, all three Apple Silicon variants had extraordinarily low idle power consumption of roughly 7 watt. Power consumed at CPU maximum maintained between 85 to 110 watt for much of the past until the 6-core model in 2018, when it increased to 122 watt. Apple Silicon versions with the base M1 or M2 chip have had maximum power ratings that are roughly half those of Intel models and even the 12-core, 8P plus 4E. M2 Pro machine consumes under 100 watt at CPU maximum. Compare those to the dramatic increase in average deep bench scores over the past few years. Single core scores have increased from 1,200 for the Intel 6 core to 1,900 for the M2 models and multi core from 6,000 for the Intel to 9,000 and 15,000 for the M2 and M2 Pro, respectively. According to estimations from the Power Metrics Command tool, the CPU cores consume a small portion of the overall power measured in Apple's tests. When idle, M1 Pro, 8P plus 2E, and M3 Pro, 6P plus 6E. CPU cores normally use less than 0.2 watt and GPUs use nearly none, but the entire Mac excluding the display is likely to consume 5 to 10 watt of power in total. The rest of the processor, including its associated memory and other modules like the SSD, power supply, fans, and network interfaces accounts for far more than 90% of idle power utilization. How is low power achieved? CPUs on M-Series chips accomplish power efficiency in a variety of methods. 1. Run low, key OS threads on power-efficient cores. 2. Adjust core frequency and voltage based on demand. 3. By managing cores and clusters, a cluster of P cores can be left in low power mode until needed. 4. By tightly integrating into a single sock. Apple's low power strategy also includes separating specialist high power computing into separate units. This comprises the Enion vector processor integrated into each CPU core, the Neural Engine ANE, an undocumented matrix coprocessor AMX, and the GPU in compute mode. When operating at maximum conventional CPU loads, the maximum power consumed by all 12 cores in an M3 Pro is less than 7 watt, while the 10 cores in an M1 Pro should be less than 9 watt. However, when such devices are substantially loaded, stated power consumption can skyrocket. The peak found in M3 Pro tests is just under 45 watt, implying that the AMX was in intensive use. It's been a great deal sticking around to this point. That wraps it up for the moment. What do you think? Is Apple's shift from Intel chips to its new Apple Silicon a wise decision? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and turn on the bell notification icon to stay up to speed with new video uploads. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.